So let me just oh, go ahead. Okay. You're, you're looking good. Thank you so much. It's so great to be here with you. Yeah. Um, I I heard you weren't feeling that well yesterday. Are you okay today? Yes. Thank you so much. Hey, I know the feeling. I've got lots of health issues. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, tell us a quick recap. Well, it doesn't have to be that quick of uh, what you've been doing since we last saw you in 2011 on All My Children. Oh, um, well, I've been doing a lot. I've been traveling, you know, I'm from South Africa, so I've been back to my country, uh, back and forth, and, uh, you know, just a lot of things, enjoying my life, and then the pandemic, and keeping busy, and uh, involved with some um, cancer foundations, and just uh, doing some a lot of healing work. So I've I've been um, I feel like I've grown a lot as a person. So yes, I I've, I I tried to, actually during the pandemic, I tried to not watch the news at all, and I decided purposefully that. I am not going to watch the news. I'm going to take this time and focus on me, mm -hmm. which was very difficult. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, it was very difficult. Yeah, I, I try to avoid the news. But yeah, if you're on social media, you know other people are into the news. It, it's kind of hard to avoid. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. The news is... I, I, you know, I, the news is important, but it's also depressing. <laughs> it, it can be, it can yeah. be. And especially with the pandemic, my whole family was back in South Africa. Oh. So I, my, I felt like my whole support system was there. And um, I just thought, how am I going to get through this? Right. Everybody's over there. I'm, I felt like I was all alone here. And the news made it into such, you know, it it almost made made you feel like there's no hope. Yeah. And I thought, I do not want to become a person with no hope. Right. So I am going to make a decision here. And I was actually in South Africa and I had to cut my trip short and uh, I came back and that very first weekend was when they uh, closed everything off and they shut everything down. And um, I made a decision and I said, all right, this is how I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to not turn the TV on. I'm not going to watch the news. And for a whole year, I did not turn on the TV and I did not watch the news. Wow. Yeah. So that's how I dealt with that. Everybody dealt with it in their own way, you know? Yes. Yeah. Um, what about acting wise? Have have there, have you done uh, anything or, or what have you been doing to sh keep your skills sharp and that kind of thing? No, I took a break from acting, but I feel like I am. I would love to go back now. Mm hmm okay that's that's a reasonable answer <laughs> so w when you went back later uh it had been 10 years since you were on the show was that strange no it was not it just felt like I never left mm -hmm. it was just wonderful and it was a very bizarre moment actually for me and Cameron we saw each other and we just started bawling mm -hmm. we couldn't stop crying it was such a weird moment um actually it was such a weird moment um it it yeah no it it felt very normal very natural it, it almost like no time has passed right well sometimes yeah. the decade can seem pretty quickly especially if you're busy <laughs> yeah um 
do you keep in touch with uh what are in some of the uh, all my children actors you keep in touch with if any um you know just checking in with people um well i keep in touch with cameron i talk to katie mclean and then um just um just, you know, just uh, on social media, checking in with people, um, TC Warner, and yeah, so just, you know, yeah, it's just on social media mostly. Okay. And um, did you, when you left the show, did you get a lot of fan letters um, expressing their displeasure about your character being killed off? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know. I was just mad. I was so upset. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it was it definitely a lot of upset fans. So, yeah, yeah it, was, it was very sad. Even for me, it was very, very difficult and very, um, it was not easy. It was really hard. Right. For Well, for you, it's twofold. You've got to go through all that on the show and saying goodbye to everyone and then you've got you, know, you lost your job so that's not fun for anybody <laughs> so <laughs> i can imagine um but yeah i mean camera is such a popular um actor and especially on all my children um and it, it just seemed like he never i mean his character had other romances obviously but it it, it was never the same i don't i didn't think after oh, after your character you. <laughs> killed off um but he did get to show a lot of good range there. I think that was probably um, probably the best, you know, story they gave him in the wake of her death was uh, showing how he felt. So that was good. Yeah, I think that was a really good storyline for Cameron. I think he got to really, um, you know, show his range of emotions. I think it was a a beautiful storyline for him yes and I, I think he's an underrated soap actor because he you know I think people say oh there's this handsome guy and he's nice and kind and all but you know he, he has more to show than that <laughs> yeah um yeah. So that was good for him um and uh now you are trying to get back into acting yeah I would love to I would love to work with Cameron again actually mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be, that that would be, be we, we were talking about it and um, we were saying that would be, that would be so much fun. Yeah, I imagine it's hard to get on GH because they have such a huge cast already and uh, they've killed off a bunch of people recently probably to <laughs> pare down. Oh, yeah. Time, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it would be interesting, you know, sometimes it works when they, when they take someone who was a, a good and popular couple on one soap and they both show up on another soap sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so it'll be interesting to see uh how how it worked with you two definitely yeah i <laughs> think that would be that, yeah. that would be fun yeah it would be and um so is it is it uh you think it's more difficult now to um get parts on um as an actor than it was when you started out or about the same? Uh, I have no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, I hope it gets, I hope you get something. <laughs> Thank it, you. It would be nice to see you on TV again. Um, and you have a um, cancer foundation, right? Yes, I'm part of a cancer foundation in South Africa. Yes. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, uh, we just, I, I, I'm part of it and it's in South Africa. And, um, you know, just raising awareness and, um, of course, just trying to find a, some kind of, cure for that as the whole world is of course right um 
I lost my mother to cancer and then um, my my father also got cancer and he's um, in remission now. So That's it's something really close to my heart. And um, I would love to be able to make uh, a, a positive contribution to to the cause. All right. Now we have we have a well my husband had a old friend who just passed away from cancer um like last oh, month and uh we had to we went to his memorial he had to fly out to California and oh, see the family so they did thank you they did a good job with the memorial though it was really sweet his his kids and his mom and everybody um oh, so that was, yeah and uh, we actually have another he actually has another friend from his group that has is battling cancer right now it, it, things look pretty good so yeah but you see it's just affecting so many people oh it really it's does almost yeah. everybody knows somebody uh or somebody's friend or it, it's a lot of yeah. people and i i think it's time that uh, we 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 find a cure yeah definitely and and uh unfortunately the older you get <laughs> The more people that you know, they get cancer, I think, cancer and heart disease, unfortunately. Um, but um, I think it's completely within within our capability or within our reach to to treat it and to find um, to find to find a cure. I, I, I do believe that. Yeah, I so, think I read before that the problem was there are so many different kinds of cancer, and that's the problem um, with regards to finding a cure. Um, but I'm not that knowledgeable about it. So, um, yeah, but I I still think it's it is doable. Yeah, and I I I, I think it's 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 going to be soon where it's going to happen. So I am very positive. Good. Yeah, I hope so. Um, is now is there? Do you know if there's many differences in how cancer is treated or um, or seen in South Africa than in the U.S. Or is it about the same? Um, it's. I would say it's about the same. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh. So, what do you have besides working on the Cancer Foundation and? Focusing on on you, what what um do you do for fun in your spare time? Oh, for fun, I love animals. Um, I have about five squirrels, and I just love watching them playing with them, making videos, and they just provide me with so much enjoyment and. I can just watch animals all day and be yeah. entertained by them. And I'm a huge animal lover. I just, I feel like they're messengers from out there and they bring us messages and they communicate to us. I really do. I, I, I think they're just spectacular little creatures and um, yes. Yeah. And uh do you, do you have, do you put pictures, videos up on Instagram of your squirrels? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'll have, yeah. to check. I'll have to check those out. Yeah, you should. Most of my Instagram is, um, uh, you know, the ones that I follow is our uh, animals, you know, mostly dogs, but I have some other animals because yeah. <laughs> we have a dog. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? Um, She's a kind, she's a mutt. So <laughs> she's oh. a we we she was a rescue and they told us that they thought she's part basset hound and part corgi so oh, she's no. really That's... cute very soft and she's very low to the ground because both those breeds have right. short, short little legs <laughs> and uh, big ears and we get yeah big ears the flop they're more like floppy and than the, the they're not like the corgi ones <laughs> right um but uh yeah we we get a lot of rain where i am so every time she walks through a puddle and there are always puddles <laughs> and the mud, uh, every time I bring her in, I have to wipe her down. 
Oh, this time of year, especially. <laughs> yeah. But fortunately, she likes the belly rub, so it works out. <laughs> oh, she does. Yeah. Yeah, I have a cat who just loves belly rubs. Oh, nice. Cats usually hate belly rubs. Yeah. She just loves the belly rubs. It's so adorable. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we. I grew up with a lot of cats, so I, I like cats too. There's a there's a friendly cat down the street, and when I walk my dog, Brandy, he comes running out to see us and he's there to see Brandy, not me, because he barely lets me pet him, but he goes over and they sniff at each other. And it's, it's the weirdest thing. I never saw cats and dogs get along so well before. Wow. Like ones that live together, you know, but. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, he comes out and he, he sort of throws himself. You know how sometimes cats just throw themselves on the ground and with their back up? Yes. Yeah. He does wow. that. He the does cat that. does that for the dog? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we go over there and then they sniff at each other. And Brandy hasn't quite figured out. I mean, she kind of knows how to deal with cats, but she always wants to play with other animals. So the cat is a little freaked out when she gets in play mode and she wants to, Brandy kind of goes like that, you know, when, you know dogs kind of see that. <laughs> And the cat goes, oh, maybe not, and starts to walk away. <laughs> that's that's incredible that yeah. the cat does that to have yeah, that it's... trust with a dog. Yeah, it's a very friendly cat, and and the family that owns a cat has a bunch of dogs, so the cat's very familiar with dogs. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, it's cute, cutest thing. Um, that is really cute. You should make a video of that because that's that's special. Yeah, I should. I never think of it. Uh, no, no, really. You bring should. my phone that's... with me on <laughs> when I'm walking. No, that's that's every... remarkable yeah, for I a should. cat for a cat to go lie like that. It's like submission. Yeah. She's yeah. like saying, uh, you know, she's being submissive. Yeah. And towards a dog that could potentially kill her. Yeah. Is is quite remarkable. So yeah, it's it's so. a beautiful thing. Yeah. Right yeah, there. It is, and it's uh, he. He's a very friendly cat. So he might do that to everybody. I don't know. I haven't seen it with other people. <laughs> no, I, make make a video. That's I that's will. Beautiful. I will yeah, I'll try to do that. Um. So um, uh, you're living in the U.S. now. Yes, I am in the U.S. now. I'm in Los Angeles. Okay, that's good. Yes. Yeah, do you like living there? I I love I love America. Um. I love South Africa too. Mm -hmm. I I think I'm the type of person who who could find joy wherever I I live. That's good. Because ultimately I think joy comes from inside. Although I think it's easier when you are surrounded by your loved ones for sure. Mm -hmm. okay. But I, I agree with you. I think your happiness you, you make your own happiness. You make your own happiness, yes. But it is easier when you are surrounded by your loved ones. But I have learned in life that, you know, you can run, but you can't hide. You can, ultimately, you take you with you. So no matter where you go, you're not going to find Nirvana in a certain location. Yeah, because you always take you with you. That's so true. no matter where I go, I, I'm taking me with me. So I better find my happiness wherever I am. So, yes, I love Los Angeles. I love America. Do I love South Africa? I love South Africa. Would I like to live there? Yes, I would love to live there. I I could live in in Spain. I could live anywhere so you know I where life would where life takes me I'll go that's good uh and, and is there anything else you'd like to tell your fans uh just a big thank you from the bottom of my heart for your love and your support and hopefully I will see you soon back on the telly that would be awesome yes it would be awesome <laughs> I know I'm looking forward to that. I hope it works. Yes, thank you. And thank you so much for having me on your wonderful show. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for coming on here. And uh, I'll put this up and, uh, sometime this week. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great. And put Dougie up as well. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mwah. Bye. Bye.